lane and the blue car that's second in line. You see, Jimmy just gets a, gets a little bit loose, and when he corrects, it just overcorrects, and into the fence it goes. And then he gets a really hard lick right here. That's the one that really worried me. He got that right in the driver's door. Darrell, what was one of our Goodyear keys? Don't push me in the left rear. This trial can be pretty treacherous. Now from the blimp, watch right front. That's, he actually had to go up high because, to avoid one of the IWS trucks. And when he did, he got up in a loose stuff there, lost control of that thing, and come down and came down and caught right in the right rear corner. Was that quaffle that was Ooh, man, that's, that was a hit. That's a hard lick. I couldn't tell if that was trash. Truck in the wall, but 98 has also been struggling on pit road. Caution is out again. No, oh, there's definitely contact. It looks like there is. Yeah, looks like they just touched. Maybe the rear tires touched. And Todd into the wall. Now watch Kenny Walsh in the 23 car. We got a good shot of him. The wind in that, as they said, is already down. Look, he's coming out already. He's, he's, out, he's the out. The car's still moving. He's getting out of there. Yeah, well, I think. The spotter telling me he's inside. Uh oh, don't look. Uh -oh. oh. Goodness gracious. when you look at it, but man, it's another tone. spinner. That's Brad Keselowski going around. This could be ugly. Oh, back up across the track. Oh, big damage. Oh, okay. A number of cars collected. Dave Blaney, Greg Biffle. Yeah, now whenever and you see Biffle a car coming back. Jim, Richard was going into the second turn at Pocono, but right there, he lost his right front wheel and helplessly careened right there into the wall. But at this point in the crash, the damage was all on the right side of the car. Richard was still fine inside. There's Buddy Baker going by in front of you. Now watch this. Chuck Bone appears spinning backwards. He gets by Richard. Now, here comes Darrell Waltrip for the hit. Waltrip, at that point, right into Petty's door. That's when Richard was injured in that crash, right at that point. You see all that smoke? There's no way Smithley could see through that. His spotter trying to guide him through it as best he could. Well, and Daryl had it beat down low. He got hit from behind. I thought they all missed him, but they didn't. That was a major hit, too. Lick from Morgan Shepard, man. Yeah. yeah, that was a hard lick. Turn three here. Out, oh, one of Vinny Miller. Oh, and Christopher Bell sideways. He's involved in the crash. Hill. Oh, right in the front of David Gilliland. Get another look at it, but I and didn't see that David Gilliland did anything wrong. He was right on the bottom of the racetrack. Oh, my Whoa, gosh. So Hamlin Lillian. came flying in there. Absolutely. Bill Elliott, the 20 the field came to the checkered flag. Watch the white 32 car. And again, Kyle Larson did climb from that machine. You heard from him a minute ago. Oh, no, Johnson, Johnson, Johnson big big wreck. can't go. Big wreck going to happen oh, here on the front no, straightaway. Oh, no, man. You are wow. kidding me. Ah. Coming off turn two, and Eric Jones, car gets loose, puts a little bit too much wheel back to the right, and basically head on into the wall, and then major impact behind got him up in the air. I think that was Daniel Suarez, perhaps, that made the first impact. It looked like the 19 car, that orange and white car. Alex Bowman in the 88. Oh, he gets a shove. He's going to go sideways right in front of the pack. The 48 caught up, and the 9 is caught up. The caution has come out. He got a big shove right into the front of the pack. The 
42 of Kyle Lowry. Corner, and you see that starts to move the tail of the six from left to right. Darrell Wallace Jr. does the best he can to regain control, but at these speeds, he loses control, gets into the 20, and then you start to see just back and forth. You see the 19 in Daniel Suarez as it leaves the screen, almost has it collected. The two, great to see that car come back onto the yes. ground. We saw cars go airborne in Talladega. That car could have easily went up and in the air and flipped over. The roof flaps open, the cowl flaps open, set the two back on the ground. And the problem started with where Brendan Poole was trying to bump draft. You're still in the corner. You're still trying to oh, oh, there's contact! Out of you now. Stewart into the middle of the pack and over! Watch it now. And a huge wreck. You get a lot of momentum from drafting from behind, and Chase came off that corner with a little bit more momentum than he had before, and it looked like maybe the car just stepped out a bit, and Almendinger hard on the gas into the back of Elliott, and that caused... In the middle of it, that was the group where this happened. Maybe he might have got a little help from Brian Vickers. Is that who that was in the 20? Yep. And then... Turned around into the middle of the pack. Casey Mears is the one that hit him. Caution is out. Race is over. 11. Looks like these guys get, you know, he just dove down. Wow. And then corrected maybe. I. Yeah, that's really a strange, strange act. Man, Matt did a good job not hitting that car, but then he got clobbered. See Blaney in that, and Blaney had had a good run. Those guys had run in the top 10 or 15 a lot tonight. And I said, you see Christopher Bell way down, hugging that 18 truck, and it looks like it just got him loose, Michael. We see so many times that truck on the inside loses that air off the uh, off the rear spoiler of that truck, and around he went. Christopher had nowhere to go. He had to give him room. He had to chase it up there. He made hard contact with the outside wall, and uh, look at John Hunter. Yes, some debris off, I think, off the 24 truck. Bumper bars and everything 18. bouncing. There's another eight. piece of a splitter yeah. or a side skirt that John Hunter runs into. Kaz Grala also ran over that bumper bar this lane. And right, even when the spotter's hollering at you, way back there where you see that 78 car get sideways, you just can't slow down. Uh, actually, it was a Scott Speed's car. Hard shot. That was a hard lick on that inside wall by that 10 car. Now, Patrick Carpentier has climbed out of his car. He's okay. They just keep piling. It's 17. He's torn up big time. Oh, Brown up in the wall. Looks like, a, looks like another failed right front tire, the way the car shot. Here up. comes Kozlowski. Bang. Wow. Yeah. And so we talk about this being a short track, but that illustrates how fast a track it is. And look at Paul Menard. He was running up in the top. Logano's still out there, but will have a little bit of damage to the car. But those two benefit the most from this because they were able to get through. What a big impact. I, Huge. I, to be honest, I've been focused so much on that restart. I didn't realize the control. Yeah, I believe it's Paul Menard that got loose. Wow. And that was... Kurt Busch would have avoided this, but the 14 usually hit the outside wall. Now he just lost it coming off, hits the uh, inside wall back there, and the thing just flies back out into racetrack. It's almost like it uh, when he hit that inside wall. There's well, you can see, I think Kyle Busch was on the inside of Jamie McMurray, did not know he was trying to pit. Checker flag at him. <laughs> He's sat down at the start finish line. Say, like, please, can I just have it? I know I won this race. Let's see what the video shows here. What would you anticipate they're, they're looking at? Because I, I never saw the caution lights come on. And the only thing I can think of is that, is that NASCAR would have deemed the caution lights came on before they got to the start-finish line. And Poole uh, was not leading at the time of caution. That's, that's possible. But I didn't see.